last day of spraying, at least for herbicide, um, I got these two adjoining feet. Well, yeah, I call them adjoining. You just jump over that fence line. I got that field and this field. About 15, 14, 15 acres. Um, although, I did put a whole 200 gallons in the tank because the way the beans were all grown up this year, I guarantee I'm going to have to probably go back and spray some skips because without foam markers, you can only follow so good. When I get my new sprayer put together for next year, it's definitely... have to see how expensive a foam marker kit is and what the money situation is, but either next year or the following year, that 45-foot sprayer is getting foam markers on it because... You can kind of figure your offset with a 30-foot boom once you're used to it. You can turn on the end row and you just figure out about how long you need to turn and how about how sharp you need to turn and you run the same sprayer long enough. You can. You, you're, I'm, I'm pretty good with that sprayer. But uh, that that 45-footer is going to be big enough that foam markers are probably going to be a necess necessity. Unless I could end up buying a light bar that I want anyhow because I want a light bar for spreading fertilizer just to make life easier. But if I get a light bar for spreading fertilizer, I can dual it and use it for spraying too. That'd be nice. But monies. I'm actually kind of impressed there's not more broadleafs out here. Normally I got ragweed and... Uh, Mostly just ragweed out here, but there's a little bit of ragweed and some lamb's quarters down here on the bottom end, but all the rest of it just this foxtail. So, but anyway, um, yeah, get done spraying this, and then all I got left to do is whatever. I have to go back probably by Monday. I ought to know because everything will be burnt down enough to tell. Whatever skips I miss, hopefully there's not that many. Then get the tank cleaned out and I got magnesium or my, a manganese product coming to spray down in the muck. And I called to see about a respray re on the muck and they want me to wait till Monday to see if the Callisto in that uh, Halex will get taken up and kill that ragweed that's coming back up down there. Um, and if not, or if it does, then all I gotta do is go down there and spray that manganese. If it stays alive, which without any rain in the forecast, it very well might stay alive. Um, then we're gonna have to get some... He didn't know he was gonna get me probably some impact or armazone or something to spray down there to get it, but... Anyway, um... I guess... Nothing to do but get after it.
Well, it's hard to tell because of the weeds, but this is actually a really good fucking stand of beans. Like, a lot better than I thought, which is weird because contrary to what your no-till, your average no-tiller would tell you, this is mall boarded ground. That other field is chisel plowed ground. And they both got field finished. But this was worked finer and deeper and by all rights that means that this field should have dried out faster but this field has a nice even stand in it and they're nice and tall i mean they're they're probably i mean they're this tall all the way across the field even where the weeds are at so you can see through the weeds and see the beans they're probably eight inches taller better and they're nice and thick that field over there yeah the guy probably got like 50 percent germination so Explain that one to me, how the finer work, deeper work field that had no top cover on it when I planted it came up better and is growing better than the conservation till field that had ground cover on it when I planted it because it had, you know, obviously corn residue on top. The mind boggles. But anyway, hopefully the weeds died down in here because I kept having the these nozzle bodies have have uh, strainer screens in them right here, and I kept plugging. I probably plugged them, plugged like six or seven of them screens, and I was catching them. But the way the sun was shining, it was hard to see which nozzles had the fan spraying and which didn't. So it take me a minute to notice them. So probably definitely have to come back and do a little touch up in this field at least, but we shall see. But anyway. All the beans are sprayed, so hopefully they clean up and we can start seeing what we got for population. Most of them didn't look that bad before the weeds started to take over last week when we got all that rain, so hopefully they stayed that way. We just need more fucking rain now because they're starting to get dry. They're starting to get dry again. So hopefully this wasn't all for nothing. Another week or two without any water, they're all going to be burnt and dead anyhow, so time will tell. It either will or it won't. That's kind of our business so i guess that's it for this one i'll catch you guys on the next one